This is it. Project Pilipinas is back. Yon. The leading political podcast in the country. Yeah, may maasar na naman yung iba sa atin dyan. Kaya <laughs> <laughs> naman tayo. Competing among others with Richard A. Darian Podcast. <laughs> Wala ba? Magkawa. <laughs> Dami mga galing. Lahat ng mga top sa atin. Di ba? Yun ang maganda. Yeah, Marami. Sa top three. Para lahat. Sa top three, dalawa tayo. <laughs> Kaya lang. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Bronze and silver minsan, gold minsan. So, ano, competitive yan, maganda yan. Okay guys, kasama natin ulit yung blogger extraordinaire ang may pakanan sa aking blogger life na si Mark Gambo. Thank you very much, Mark, for joining me. Your Hello. Fellow... Yan, ito talaga original. Ito yung OG. Bago, bago dumating si Ronaldo. Ano, ang, ang tawag kay Ronald Llamas ngayon, bro? Ano? Tawag sa kanya is Ronald Aldens. <laughs> Ronald, why? Ronald Alden ano, ibang klase talaga mga tao, natatawa talaga ako sa sa mga tao. Kasi crush ng bayan na political analyst daw siya, nako po, sabi ko. Salo tayo diyan, pare. Salo tayo diyan. Please lang guys, wag naman Bobby Andrews sa akin, medyo natatawa <laughs> sa akin si Bobby Andrews. Wag naman, puti mga si Ronald, naging Alden na ako, naging Bobby Andrews. <laughs> Nanalo ba si Bobby Anderson sa counselor? I think I don't think pumasok. Ayun. Oh, yeah, Pero ang pumasok si Angelo. Oh. Dito sa Pasig, di ba? Sabay sila nang tumakbo eh. Si Angelo mas, nanalo dito sa Pasig. Mas inform ka sa akin sa mga ganyan, bro eh. Pansin ko nga. Uh-huh. Oh, so ito 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 pag-usapan natin na. Yo, so, now minit na. Ito na, ito na. Coming in live one week later. <laughs> Kamusta yung rally diyan? Don't tell me pumunta ka sa Davao. Or pumunta ka sa Maharlika. Kirino Grandstand. Ayun, nandun ako sa Kirino Grandstand. Uh, okay. Parang ano siya eh, parang malaking general assembly ng mga government employees na may concert. Uh, ba, 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 ba. General... May concert. Merong Scott okay. Takli, merong Andrew E. Wow. Diba? Sa kabila naman, di ba, may Wait, Kuya Will. Si Andrew E? Nandun na yeah, siya. Yeah, was there. Ay, Sarah yun, Sarah all. Eh, oh, y- yun nga, kasi parang inisip ko din saan sasama si Andrew Ina Rally sa Davao ba o sa Quirino Grandstand. So, sumama siya doon sa Quirino. So, after ng speech ni BBM, ni PBBM, uh, natapos yung programa, tapos si Andrew E yung finale. So, siya yung last na wow. nag-perform siya. I think, ang haba nung set niya. He performed a lot of his songs. Tapos, masaya, masaya naman. Uh, concert yung atmosphere. Meron la, merong uh, part lang na yun nga, isang oras na to showcase yung mga bagong Pilipinas na mga programa right. ng uh, PDBM government. Uh, yun. Pero yun, yun nga, ang nangyari na is nagkatapatan, di ba? Sinong pumunta sa Davao, sinong pumunta sa Quirino Grandstand, sinong parehong pumunta. Right. <laughs> oh, so, so, hindi ko nabutan yung kayo ni Sarah. Eh. Hindi ko nabutan eh. Pagdating ko, tapos na siya eh. Baka nasa aeroplano na siya nung pagpuntang Davao nung dumating ako dun sa ano, sa Taririno. Oh, wait, wait. Pero, so Sarah was there in the in Manila first? Yes. Oh, uh, in kaya andun her, si Andrew E. Uh, no. Uh, kasi ang main event was 6pm. Sarah left mga 4pm pa lang, umalis na. In, in fairness to her, kasi nandoon yung mga debt and employees. Yun. So at least she was there to ano to show support and and uh yun nga eh, para namamangka sa ano sa dalawang ano dalawang ilog hindi mo maintindihan eh. she is caught between yung yung kanyang uh, serving PBBM administration and yung kanyang pamilya na uh, ang daming ang daming mga sinabi sa Davao I I, I want to talk more about that later on kasi my speech si Sara na pinost ko rin online whereby yung essentially sinabi niya you know dapat respetuhin natin yung mga ano mga ano you know essentially family natin but having said that uh there also has to be uh you know respect for your duties as an elected leader so essentially having the cake and eating it too diba so siguro later on pag-usapan natin if Sara can be the bridge because wala yung ibang bridge wala na Mar- Martin Romualdez Arroyo, um, uh, Amy Marcos. I know she's trying to be the bridge. I don't think so. Uh, maybe Sarah, the end of the day, could be the bridge. But before going there, can you give us a little bit of more update? So, so what exactly was the program, Kirina? Napanood mo si BBM, nung speech niya? Yeah, oh, nandun ako sa... Naka, nakasingit ako papunta sa harapan. Uh, I was able to, ano, to, na, to catch yung buong speech niya. 
And ano naman, um, it was an ano eh, parang pep rally nga for government employees. Eh. Kasi puro mga mga government employees yung, yung pumunta doon. Tapos di ba siyempre nagreklamo masyadong extravagant, masyadong magastos. Pero they just showcase yung mga projects ng ano ng uh, ng uh, pre, uh, ng president which is uh, uh, yung sa Pasig pinakita nila tapos yung mga build build more yung right. for all new first lady yung mga ganun so si first lady speech, yan, yung normal lang din na speech na bawal yung ano bawal yung tamad sa gobyerno bawal yung uh, tiwali so, aba, 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 aba. good uh, wait lang ano to um Maro has been speech Sino ba? Parang wait lang. Parang ano to? Lenny campaign ba to? Yung ayos sa corruption sa tamad. Medyo parang uh, wait lang. Andun si First Lady? Kamusta si First Lady? Yes. Uh, actually, uh, nandun si First Lady. So si si PBBM sa kanan niya ay sa kanan niya tama ba? Si First Lady sa kaliwa niya si uh, former President Gloria Arroyo. Oh, Yun yung una oh, kong napansin talaga. Si Arroyo was still in, she's still in the mix. Wow. Yes, yes. Still... And uh, hindi na wala talaga. Natin, no? BBM, yun ang yun ang napansin ko talaga kaagad nung nag-scroll ako ng video. Teka, si Gloria ba 'yon? Sino pa si Gloria nga? Iyon. Oh so my God. So mukhang ano, mukhang ang uh, ang usap-usapan, Gloria has jump ship from the Duterte ano, Duterte camp and uh, sumama na dito sa kanyang protege na si Martin Romualdez. Yun. Wow. Wow, talagang Philippine politics, ibang klase talaga ng eh. <laughs> ibang klase talaga mga alignment, ibang 36, ano mga 180, mali talaga tayo mag-basketball, no? Mag mag ano talaga <laughs> uh, crossover, mga crossover na 'yan. I didn't know actually that Royo, ano? That's a new information. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know about that. So actually I'm surprised to be honest about it. Wow, that's that's yeah. more, more things are ano, improving eh dun sa sa relationship nila. And, Or at uh, least I think she's smart enough to realize the powers with the other side now. I think she saw the writing on the wall, which tells you she's really a smart politician, 'di ba? Yun yung pansin natin kay President Arroyo na you know, she knows what she's doing, 'di ba? She's no, she knows what she's talking about. How was the first lady again? In kamusta siya? Like uh, you think she was confident, she was bubbly as usual, nangangasar ba siya? Like anong drama? Ate, ano lang she, she was there lang to support ano her husband. <laughs> yeah, she's there lang siya para suportahan. And and syempre ang daming bisita kasi. Lahat ng mga cabinet secretaries nandoon. Ang mga senators na pumunta doon, ah, si Jingoy, Senator Jingoy, Senator Dito Lapid, Senator Rob Bong Revilla. So, parang may mga clue siguro yon kung sino yung mga potential na makasama sa slate ng bagong right, Pilipinas for the point. next elections, diba? So, yun yung mga nandoon. Sa kas- katabi ni uh, President Gloria, former president, um, si Manila Mayor Hani Lacuna was there. So, so sila yung magkakatabi sa harapan. Tapos, uh, yung mga, ano na, mga sec- uh, secretaries na of the different, ano, of the different uh, uh, mga tawag dito, departments ng uh, government yun nandun. So, so, so ang dami, ang dami mga bisita. So, may pagka unit team, in a sense, di ba? And then, yeah, yeah. Oh. Everyone is there. Even Sarah is there. Oh, whatever, mm-hmm. you know, however she wants Pero to. Pero yung Sarah missed the 6 p.m. 6, kasi 6 p.m. yung main show eh. Doon lang dumating si uh, PBBM. So, ni launch nila yung ano parang may songwriting contest for bagong Pilipinas merong uh, yung inexplain nila yung logo bakit ganon so parang launch nung buong uh, direction ng kanyang presidency so ganon yung ginawa niya At the same time show of force na rin na, na yeah, I think that was really, it was it was really uh, it was really I think show of force diba? it was really about showing uh, na where the power you know where, where the power uh, is concentrated talaga no uh yeah. in a way flexing of the muscle was there a discussion about chacha because diba yun yung sinasabi ng mga critics na this was more like you know uh, a pro chacha rally and of course very defensive yung administration said no it's this is just about you know reiterating the call of the president for a you know inclusive unit unity unity driven kind of politics was there anything around chacha or people who are who are active in chacha si martin romaldes nandiyan ba siya how how was ayun he? ayun definitely si speaker martin is nandoon so doon naman yung side ni lisa so si pbbm right. si first lady si speaker 
speaker tapos yung mga ibang congressman na mga kasa, mga bataan niya noon speaker. Uh, pero there were no ano uh, yung yung part na napanood ko kasi yung mga, mula 4 PM hanggang mga 7 8 PM. Right. Um, there were no mentions of Chacha. Wala namang ano, wala naman na kung nap- nakita na any signs or any anything to promote or anything to ano, wala naman. So mostly government lang. Para isang malaking ano lang siya, nagpa-general assembly ng mga government employees. O tapos parang nag uh, pep rally o ano gagawin natin o tapos nag concert, parang family day, parang ganun yung ganun yung lumalabas. <laughs> so in a way parang everyone was there except si Digong, right? And the, essentially the Davao people. I mean. Oh, yeah, I mean. So sinong wala? So wala si Aimi, wala si Digong, sino pa? Obviously wala De, uh, y- eh. yung uh, ex- uh, all of the senators except three na pumunta doon. Right. O, tapos um ayun, yun yung mga nasa Davao, uh, wala doon. Sila Digong, sila of course sila Senator ano, sila Senator Bongo and uh, uh Senator Aimee. So, ayun, yun na yun naman, pero most of everyone doon sa administration nandoon sa Quirino. Tano ko lang, how was the ano ulit yung kinanta ni Andrew E? Di ba? Bagong Pilipinas. Hindi nga pinante. Eh. Ewan ko, kasi umalis ako ng ano. Uh, I didn't finish with Seth. Siguro mga 30 minutes in, umalis na ako. I was waiting for him to sing that. Hindi niya pinante. Ewan ko, sa, ewan ko sa dulo nung umalis ako. Pero I was waiting for him talaga. Nakantahin yun. Pero kinanta niya yung ano niya. Yung lahat ng mga... Yung mga... Uh, to Andrew Ford Medina, yung mga 90s, 90s ano niya, rap hits niya. Uh, so he went back to the oh. basics, kumbaga. Oo, oh, he went rap, to na. Para party rap. mode lang talaga. Party mode lang talaga. Masaya, uh, Jose and Wally nandoon din, nag-perform din. So ang daming mga artists din na, ano, na nag-perform. So masaya yung sa concert part, masaya naman. Nag- nag-enjoy naman din ako. And uh, bloggers, uh, any major influencers there? Ah, uh, meron kasi mga Kasi alam natin sino mga wala na, ano. na influencers. Alam natin sino mga walang influencers, pero mga doon <laughs> sino. Ah. Uh, definitely lahat ng DDS wala doon. <laughs> meron kasi meron kasi mga uh, we call them street vloggers. Maski nung nung election sila yung nagkakalye sir, kalye survey. So hindi sila commentary katulad natin, uh, pero mostly they cover yung mga projects before yung Manila Bay, kung meron mga construction, ganun. So, merong portion doon na given to vloggers na nandoon, si, nandoon sila. Kasama ng mga media, ng mga cameraman. So, merong portion doon. Tapos, yun lang yung part na may wifi o tapos may, may pagkain. Pero, yung mga yung mga big name na mga komentarista na no, kont- konti lang, wala halos ano. La- la- definitely, lahat ng DDS wala doon wala doon sa uh, sa Carino Grandstand na rally. Meron kasi mga organization na ano eh na kinukuha yung kunya example yung Tugon. Tugon is uh, is the group of uh, street vloggers na covers the projects of the president. So kapag merong merong mga opening, merong mga kunya housing ganun, uh, they get invited. So pumupunta yung Tugon. So kay marami yung kaibigan diyan. So mga street mga usually mga street vloggers sila pupunta sila ko cover nila. Yun. So yun ang yun ano ang Ano nangyari doon sa mga Sangkay Janjan yung mga hardcore loyalist na super influencers? Uh, ano wala na nag nag Alex Jones na sila uh, they're out of the loop. Ano ano ba yan? Alternative yun. So so ito yung sa mga malalaki. Sangkay Janjan is retired from politics. Uh, parang torn siguro siya doon sa mga nangyayari. Na nagre-report lang siya kunyari magandang project ganun lang pero hindi na yung mga bardagulan stuff. Oh wow. Na, ay, nakakausap ko siya, nakakausap ko siya. Uh, pero ayun, as of right now, parang he's a free agent. Parang ganun. <laughs> hindi siya hindi siya either side, eh. hindi siya either strong, strong on either side. Eh. So, so si nag-detox na lang siya. Nag-detox na lang siya. Oh, oh eh. Meron siya mga mga vlogs about the Bible, about sa Israel, about sa oh, world. Wow. He, he went like about sa world events. So doon uh-huh. nakatutok yung vlog niya. And meron siyang audience for that, ha? Meron, meron siyang audience. I'm sure. I mean, he, oh, may, maraki na yung following mo. Usually, kung malaking following mo, even if medyo umiiba yung ginagawa mo, 
eventually you know the the algorithm will take, will get a hang of it kasi di ba oh, kasi sa so, so, 1 million subscribers eh yeah exactly ang isa sa mga prominent din na nung sa unity noon si coach Jared si coach Jared he is Ay, mahal na mahal ako noon ha parang yun ano noon oh ano kamo sa kay si coach si coach di ba nandoon siya doon sa buong issue ng yung mga kay uh, Trixie during the start of the presidency di ba yung grupo na yon tapos nagkagulo-gulo na oh tapos si Maharlik ka umal- tapos hanggang nagkaaway din si Maharlik ka tsaka si si Jared pero ngayon si Jared is on ano the side of the admin although meron siyang hilit paminsan-minsan pero more on the, more on the admin side siya kaysa doon sa mga uh, Duterte side may konting so, may mga pitik-pitik pa na natira yung mga <laughs> may konting oh, withdrawal pa siya from DDS days niya okay oh, pero ano pero mostly ang mga ano niya is mag-criticizing yung rally sa Davao. Right. More on ganun yung ano niya. More on ganun yung mga uh, vlogs niya recently. Pero very active na din siya sa, sa politika. Ulit. Yeah. Now, of course, that sets a tone. Speaking of DDS, there's no more DDS than the father of DDS. Rodrigo Rua Duterte. Or Yon. known as... Ano ba yung Karen pag... <laughs> Mapapamak na naman. Kevin. Ayan, nagot na naman. Mga ano na naman. Ken, Ken of our polit. Si tatay. Sabi ni mami, huwag na natin. Okay, okay bro. Ito, ito. <laughs> Magpakapait na tayo. Okay. Ito, ito, ito bro. Obviously, we all expected tatay digong to come out kind of guns blazing. You know? And in fact, I was a bit surprised that Baste kind of got the ball rolling when he called on President BBM to resign. I want to ask you, were you surprised by how intense it got? Like, I mean, alam naman natin may tendency mag wild off the script si Tatay Digong. We saw that for six years straight. Believe me, I know that I had to break down his tone of speeches and all of that. My goodness, um, bumalik yung migraine natin. But, but it was like even crazier than we thought, right? Like I was surprised. You were thinking the crazy, and then he topped that, de ba? Oh, oh, because oh. you were thinking na ano eh? na baka maghinay-hinay because of the possible retaliation from Malacañang. A few days before that, parang medyo ano na siya, medyo mabait na siya. Di ba? Medyo nakikiusap para sa SMNI. Tapos biglang doon sa rally, biglang puro PIPI, puro ano, bangag, bangag. So I was shocked talaga. I didn't expect na ganun. Na I was expecting mga konting pitek lang, konting ano lang. Hindi ko ano na all out declaration of of war itong si PRRD doon sa kanyang Davao rally. And I, I'm sure siguro tingin ko maski si Amy. She wasn't expecting siguro na ganun ka bigat. Or si Baste, mo, diba? Diba? Or even Baste, diba? Oh. Si Baste, then nag apologize yan si Baste, diba? Parang nag ganun hmm. si Amy. Amy. And and si Baste parang ano eh, parang coming out party for Baste eh, sa sa political stage. Eh. Kasi before, di ba, he was oh, tahimik lang. So, yun and I, I, I've been saying this for a few years now. But, kaboses nung tatay niya eh. Yung mannerisms nung tatay niya, yung, yung, yung uh, tapang, yung mura. And if you close your eyes, nagsasalita si Baste, it's like you're listening doon sa tatay. Kaya, kaya, and, yeah, yung pinag- timing pa- niya, the, the, yung, yung the way he speaks Bisaya, yung tinatiming oh. niya, di ba? I listen, I, I cannot understand Bisaya, but I was listening to the cadence. Of course, later you can check the translation. Parang, you're right, actually. May, an, an lakas nung PRRD, ano eh. Oh, yung, oh eh. Sure, you're, 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 you're correct. I, I, I don't know about si Polong. Hindi ko pa siya napakinggan ng husto. But you're right. Si Polong medyo ano din, pero yung si Basti talaga ang ano eh, talagang, So, uh, mayor din kasi siya ngayon. So, you know, talagang he's speaking also as a mayor. Talagang may element na ganun. Good point. Siguro, good, it, it, yung being point. mayor brought out yung confidence sa kanya and yung pagiging mas responsable sa kanya. Unlike before, di ba, na parang surfer dude, na parang relax, relax lang, chill lang. So, yeah, but that's a brand, mayor, bro. Ano, but, you know, that's a good branding, di ba? Like, I'm chill, oh, I'm the power oh, hungry, na, na. Plus, I'm, I'm a cool guy. guy. Oh, and a steak, di ba? I, I think that oh. actually helped him. I think that whole... Yung... Malaki. So, so yun na, eh, parang, ano, eh. They are preparing na the next uh, the next batch of, ano, parang Duterte na that can, that can ano, on the national stage. So, parang coming out party talaga for Baste, yung, yung kanyang pag, uh, pagsalita ng ganun. 
Very good point. And, very, very good point. Yeah, and it's also, ano din eh, kasi they, uh, the Marcoses are coming for them eh. Kahit yung kanilang hometown na Davao eh. Yun ang yeah. uh, matunog na usap-usapan that uh, the, the administration wants the Duterte's all out. Tatanggalin lahat. Itatap- a, a, a familiar foe. Di ba yung mga, mga nograles? Yun ang mga usap-usapan na... Dami eh. Yeah, ang dami nila. Di ba? Yeah. I mean... I remember uh, Davao friends saying that, I mean, it sounded strange to me, but now I kind of see their point na actually kung hindi daw nanalo si Digong noong 2016, most likely tapos na yung dynasty nila. Na in a way, Digong needed to win that elections. Kasi ano eh, di ba? Medyo alanganin na rin sila at home eh. I mean, of, of course, now we see Duterte as, parati naman in retrospect, you think something was inevitable. But it was not eh. If he didn't win the presidency... May vacuum na yan. And, and if he uh-huh. lost it big time, my goodness, may opening na yung iba, di ba? Uh, uh-huh. And actually, for them, it didn't happen. But yun nga, eh, ang problema ko naman dito, I'll go back again to Digong's speeches. This is the difference with Arroyo, di ba? Former President Arroyo is largely acting like a former president, right? Even when nagtataray siya, mataray na si Tita Arroyo. Uh, she still tries to keep that dignity of an ex-president and or, try to project herself as above the fray and I'm just here to serve and all of that. Digong, totally. I mean, for six years, binash na si Pinoy, binash na si Ramos, I mean, lahat binash na America. And then ngayon, binabash pa niya yung sumunod sa kanya na, na aliado niya dati. Ako bro, before going to the, yung etong defiance of reality thing, I was surprised sa parang sinabi niya, ano ka listan? Pero dahil makakilala tayo, nung una sabi niya, magkakaibigan. And then, ay, hindi tayo kaibigan. Magkaka- hindi ko na tinulo yung kaso. So parang umamin siya na... <laughs> Diba? Na kung kay Bigan, nagagamit sa kanya 'yon na diba? porke kay Bigan mo pala, hindi mo ano, hindi mo gagalawin. So arbitrary. So arbitrary. Mm-hmm. Hindi ito base talaga sa sa facts, 'di ba? Or or the merits of the case. So me- medyo ano eh, umaamin namin na siya sa sa ano yan, o modus operandi niya. But do you think this is also about him not accept kasi kung titingnan mo yung highlight na Pinosco, which has done like 4 million views I think on Instagram alone. I think pinaka feeling out. Imagine while I'm having meetings with a foreign ministry, defense ministry, Meti, like talking serious stuff on the sides. <laughs> Check out ng speech ni Digong, listening slow. <laughs> yung part na kinol out niya si first lady, di ba? Ah, uh, and then sinabi niya, "Eto, eto talagang ayo ko mangyare." Like eto, parang he was saying, "I was, I saw this coming." Na talagang dapat wala kang tiwala pag you, you, diba he was saying na we should have never trusted you guys and it was a mistake that I didn't let my my daughter win it or something like that. Parang ganun yung implications din, diba? Uh, so makikita mo na parang he feels vindicated. I think that's that's a term I didn't use in my previous vlogs and may pagka sense of vindication si Digong. Na si I always said atong mga Marcoses hindi hindi magpakatiwalaan mo ato. And then he went on this complete of offensive literally offensive mode of accusing a sitting president of engaging illegal lifestyle i mean like and he did that all in two minutes bro it took me <laughs> one hour vlog to analyze two minutes of his speech i mean it's just incredible right i mean you can say because you can say but actually it's also because he does that eh? he says four things at the same time actually i analyze trump he does the same also the populists they tend to do that eh? they're they're Plur, plur, ano yun, multi-messaging ang tawag ko dyan. Parang kung may multi-platform, sila multi-messaging. So sa sa isang minuto, Mahaba. sa isang paragraph, dami nilang tinatarget mo. So very efficient sila. Actually, they're mm. very, that's a good analysis. Actually, I'll, I'll write it down. I noticed that, kaya kahit di mo mafollow yung train of thought nila, they're, they talk the, yung mga buzzwords. So kung ikaw, nagaanap ka ng Marites, andun yun Marites niya. Kung ikaw ay nag- Kompleto eh. Kompleto oh, lahat eh. Oh, lahat ikaw naghahanap ng kritisismo sa chacha, andun yun. Kung ikaw naghahanap ng ng uh, ng challenging at saka pagyabang, andun yun. Kung ikaw naghahanap actually ng analysis ng chacha, andun. So, multi-messaging, yun yung skills ng populist. They don't sound articulate. They sound sabog even. But if you look at the emotional impact, I think that's where... I don't want to use the word genius, but I think that's where the the the, the smarts communication smarts comes in, right? Pansin mo rin, di ba? Like, two minutes... Yung, 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 yung karisma, lumalabas. Pag, oh. pag pinagtabi mo yung speech ni PBBM at ni uh, uh, former President Duterte, yung kay BBM was uh, maroon generic, normal na speech na ano, 
uh, sometimes diba na parang medyo maboboring ka then after a while ganun yung kay Duterte ano eh parang inaabangan mo parang merong ano Zian Gaza revelation na hinihintay <laughs> mo kung ayan na naman tayo nag-vlog din ka naman ng beses mo <laughs> Ay, ako ah, talagang authority mo talaga. <laughs> Richard, hintayin mo yan. Meron na akong data na parating ka siyan. Tapos, shucks, totoo pala si Sian Gaza. Nung <laughs> lumabas yung buong video doon sa poblasyon. Like, oh my God, nagkamali si Tuto. Nagkamali si Risa. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm sorry. Shucks, <laughs> bro. Tama si Sian. It's really, ano eh. It's really, ah, uh, talagang fun to watch eh. Talagang malo. Tapos may comedy yung uh, comedic timing niya iba talaga tal- yun talaga ang question ano so, niya eh. that's my question right what is charisma if not for emotional connection and impact diba i mean madali sabihin charisma yan but but what is really charisma diba charisma is when you talk to someone or someone talks to you parang nakaka-relate ka sa kanya parang ang ang gaan ng feeling mo sa kanya or parang na-excite ka sa kanya diba yun yung charisma eh And yun yung meron talaga kay Digong, meron kay Trump. I mean, I don't agree with them. Alam naman tao yung... But you know, I'm a fair guy. Uh, you know, for me, it's a political communication skills in the 21st century. Siguro nung dating pa noon, pag ganyan ka magsalita, dadaling ka na sa presinto, di ba? Magpaliwanag ka sa presinto. But in our age of social media, spontaneity, self-promotion, audacity... Virality. Virality. Very good point, bro. Ang daming magandang point today, ah. We're on busted to this. Actually, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Nag-pick up yung discussion natin, ah. Yes, this multi-messaging strategy is very effective, bro. Kasi yun nga, sabi ko, I, I, I listen to Duterte, I really try my best, and then I come up with so many emotions. Nairita ako, natatawa ako, naiinis ako, na, na, nag-aalala ako. Di ba? Yung parang lahat na yan. Tapos na-excite ako. Di ba? Like, ang dami mo. Ma- Manood ka ng speech ni, I don't know, si BBM parang, Magaling speechwriter. Parang gano'n lang. Parang, honestly. Parang, yun lang talaga. Okay, in fairness. Okay. Pero yung hindi kong parang, wow, 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 wow. I mean, kung ibe-brain scan mo yung mga tao, or alam mo yung mga scanning hit, mga gano'n. Ang daming, ang daming na mga juices are, you know, getting movie. Like, it gets on high blood ka, na ano ka. Have you noticed that? Di ba? Parang gano'n din yung analysis ko dito. Eh. It's, there's some emotional connection that Duterte has to you. Again, I'm not endorsing the content. Just Pero be... ako ako personally ah yung uh, while watching this, yung speech mas umano sa akin yung ano eh ang ang word na pumapasok sa akin is hubris at arrogance. It is one thing to talk like that when you're president. Lahat sumusunod sa iyo, lahat hawak mo, lahat ng bumangga sa iyo, 'di ba? Will will take on the full resources of the government. It's a completely different thing kapag nandoon ka sa labas, kapag ikaw yung aaway doon sa government. Talagang hindi ko talaga magets eh kung bakit siya gaganon. He knows, he knows yung yung kakayahan ng uh, ng uh, government. Para hindi even taunting the government. O, ano anong gagawin niyo? O sasabihin ko bangag ka, sasabihin ko ganito ka, sasabihin ko first lady ganito, sasabihin ko anong gagawin niyo? Para hindi even taunting eh. So so hindi ko talaga magets why anong strategy that he wants to put himself in that position. Plus I think he was expecting for the people to stand up, for the people to rally, for the people to... Parang ga, may ganong expectation eh. But the thing is, may, may pagrarally yung mga supporters niya sa social media lang eh. Marami keyboard work. You won't see them on the ground. Kanina, kanina, sa liwas ng Bonifacio, merong nagpa Sara, parang well, inday Sara na ganun. Did you stop for a moment? Kasi medyo maharli ka yung... <laughs> Kasi medyo maharli ka yung eyeglasses ko. Is that why you paused a little when I put that on? Like... <laughs> oh, medyo na, no, na... Wala ako ng train of thought ko. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, masakit yung ulo ko sa usual. I put eyeglasses pag ganyan. Paglagay ko, biglang nagpa-pause si... <laughs> okay. So, so, yung, yung... Go ahead. Oh. Yung kay Sarah kanina was... Uh, I think less than 100 or 200 people lang nandun sa liwasan when they called out uh, people na mag ano tayo mag minirally ganun diba so so maybe Duterte was expecting na people would stand up people would go against the Marcoses maybe another EDSA revolution but no eh ma- 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 marami silang followers bastos yung mga ibang followers nila pero hanggang social media lang you can't expect them to go out on the streets you can't expect them to umaharangan mo yung mga pulis harangan mo yung diba hindi eh 
ay ay hindi ko talaga maget kung ano yung objective niya in doing that uh, aside from riling up his base kasi yung base lang yung yung base lang yun and they even lost uh, some supporters dahil yung mga crazy ideas like separating Mindanao which we'll talk about later so hindi ko hindi ko maget talaga yung strategy ni uh, Duterte or are they desperate na dahil sa either way, aarestuhin na naman tayo ano naman tayo sabihin ko na lahat so That's hindi right. ko talaga Go for broke, parang ganun, go for broke. Go for broke eh, pero yun ang, yun ang aking ano talaga, hindi ko magets anong strategy ninyo moving forward? Or is this a play for 2025 para puro senador nyo yung papasok? Pero ginagalit mo yung malakad niya eh. And, and ma, diba? Babalik ka na, babalik ka tuto. If, if before, so hindi eh, ikaw, Richard, ano tingin mo? Anong strategy Anong anong na, napala nila in doing that? Anong end game ang pwede mong ma-achieve through that? Kasi the military won't budge that. Wala din naman eh. Di ba is calling on the military, the police, huwag nyo ganun. It won't work that way na pagtatawag kang ganun. Pero ikaw, what do you think? No, I mean, this is the place, I, again, thank you for saying this because as much as I was talking about the power of multi-messaging and all, that makes sense when you're on the upward swing as a politician. Sa election, and as you correctly pointed out, when you are in a position of power. But if you do that outside that those scenarios, then you're an, essentially, ano ka, nuisance ka. Diba? You're either nuisance or worse than a nuisance, right? You're going to be a target. Diba? So this is where I'm beginning to, ano, we, I'm beginning to wonder, does he still have it? I'll just be honest, right? Does he still have it? Kasi parang I'm wonder, parang ano na to eh. Go for broke na to kagad. So is it because he has the information that ICC is really coming? That it's really a matter of time before the... Is he... Parang unain ko na lang to, di ba? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna sit back like a... You know, I'm not gonna be a sitting duck essentially. No? I'm not gonna be the lamb willingly brought to this, uh, parang ganon, di ba? I'm not gonna go gently into the night. I'm thinking of all of those metaphors, right? Mm. No, no, I'll go for broke, di ba? End of the world mode na tayo. Yeah. 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 Scorched earth. Scorched earth. Diba? Well, I mean, lang scorched earth. Oh. If you arrest burn me, down, magkakagulo. Burn down the palace kind of mode. Di ba? Alam mo yung, nanon ka ng Samurai X? Ay, hindi. Kalaban niya yung, okay, kung yung mga na summarize, yung, yung isang part na kalaban yung isang guy na parang go for broke siya, binurn down na lang niya yung buong ship niya, gano'n. So may pagka gano'n, di ba? May... But I want to end this episode on this note before we go to the broader implications because you correctly pointed out, what's happening right now is, okay, you're the weaker party. I'm on tanggapin yan. By, by trying to defy that in this way, you're actually becoming even weaker. Baka nga may more fighting chance ka sana kung... Kasi at the end of the day, you still don't want to underestimate them. As as Ronald Liamas, Ronald Richard Alden's Liamas correctly pointed out, time is, if they survive the next year or two, then time will be on their side because Sarah is still the lead, right? Oh, yeah. candidate, the candidate. In the elections, they're still strong. Oh, I mean, pero, pero, the next year or two will be crucial. This is where things could be decided. So logically, he shouldn't be doing what he's doing right now, right? So either he has an information, insider information na, Tama siguro si Trillanes after all. Or it's also a combination of that and 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 you know he's he's still just he's simply not in his best. Okay, I wonder why the others are not making interventions. And then you also wonder why Pantaleon Alvarez is also there in that camp and all of that, which is kind of, so which we'll discuss more in the next camp when we talk about Man, uh, Mindanao's secession and all of that. But I want to end on this note, bro. Okay, uh, I've been having some discussion with some very serious people about. Is Marcos looking weak or is Marcos looking mature and statesmanlike by the kind of response he has? Because it's not like walang response si BBM. Diba? Nung tinanong siya, he also like, you know, like, hindi, fentanyl talaga yan eh. Fentanyl. <laughs> Pahinga ka na, tatay, parang gano'n. Pahinga ka na. Palag, diba? e, parang, that's not BBM. That's not usually the BBM you see. And the way he said, gumanan na talaga siya. Gumanan na. So... You could see na nagpakita rin siya ng humanity niya. Kasi yun yung usually in is ng ibang tao kay BBM. Yung supporters ng unity ng dati. Sabi nila, naalala ko yun, nanalo si BBM at saka Sarah. Sir, okay naman ako kay BBM eh. Kaso, mas nakakarelate ako kay Digong eh. So in short, parang masyadong above the phrase si BBM. But mm -hmm. that moment na he showed na nainis na nairita din siya. Actually, that, <laughs> that rallied also the BBM support base. 
and ang daming mga dilaw and pink and the rest also natuwa doon based on the crazy reception i saw online especially in my, one of my some of my platforms where i suspect yung 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 followers kay are more of a certain group than others i think more diversified on youtube and all do you think bbm is being mature and smart about this or do you think that he's still looking a little bit parang y- y- yung weak leader ano idea he's, he's actually feeling kasi parang you would think this is the opening na ito, ito na yung Cosmos Belly eh, diba this is the perfect justification for BBM to go in and tapusin yung usapan or something that we mentioned a while ago maybe Sarah is talking to BBM say please BBM wag mo nang pansinin tata wag mo nang siyang pansinin na, I'm still with you feeling ko ganun na kasi doon ko rin nagagets bakit si First Lady ganun eh. Di ba yung si First Lady? Nakikita mo, naiinis din siya na parang na siya, oh. never is Sarah saying, I don't care. They have, they're crossing a line eh. Di ba? Hindi niya hinihello si, si Sarah. Di ba? Kita mo ilang beses niya ginawa yan. Di ba? Or ayaw niya pag-usapan yan. Especially sa pre-departure sa Vietnam. Tell me your view about this. Do you think optimal yung response ni BBM? Or maybe... Yes. Oh, very much. Hey. Sa akin, uh, close to perfect response doon sa... May may ano eh kumbaga syempre parang bardagulan eh and uh, you need something na may pipi pero statesman parang parang statesman pa rin tas may concern pa rin o, parang hindi pa rin niya directly been lame si Duterte uy kasalanan ng mga doktor PBM I sir PP PRRD he oh. still respect he used the term PRRD president Rodrigo Duterte oh. he conscious pa yeah i think ang galing eh ang galing eh and uh, Uh, kasi he's still on message pa rin doon sa kanyang unity na sinasabi na yun pa rin yung kanyang goal kahit na mayroong mga may... baka naman kasi dahil sa fentanyl nila lang yan o mga doktor so yung mga doktor pa yung sinisi tingnan nyo naman baka naman gano'n so sa akin ganda eh. and yung reaction online was uh, uh, ang ganda Kumbaga, maraming humanga doon sa kanyang kanyang ano kasi may, yun eh, may tamang amount of pitek uh, and the thing is lahat ng mga sasabihin ni PRRD moving forward Pwede mong i-dikit doon sa sinabi niyang yun eh. So that's one response for everything. ba? Diba? Kahit anong sabihin moving forward ni uh, Tatay Digong, diba? pwede mong ikabit doon sa sinabi niya na yun. So ang uh, near perfect response on the part of BBM and yung mga supporters niya and yung mga ibang tao din ay ano, uh, acknowledging it online na ang ganda nung sagot niya na yun. Ako kasi my take is a bit... Um, medyo I'm still debating with myself kasi bro... Um, If behind the scenes, niluluto na nila yung inexpect natin na checkmate, ba? Diba? Then this looks like a very good strategy. And then there's the other part of me saying na he's still looking very conflict avoidant. He's still looking, you know what I'm saying? Na this, this, how should I put it? Kasi ang problema ko, pa, problema ko naman dito sa situation na, and yes, you could argue that in a way, nagbibleed ng political capital yung isang side to the benefit of BBM. But you would expect BBM to also draw the line because in effect, you're also encouraging, kasi pansin mo, yung video ni Martin Romualdez na Pinosco, si Martin Romualdez umatak back na kaagad. So, is this good cop, bad cop? Is this... Yun, exactly. Ay, yun, din ang... yun nga eh. Oh, it plays to the character of, ano, of uh, the people involved. Si Bibi, parang ako, parang ako, ako medyo conflict avoid, uh, avoid uh, nag-avoid talaga ako ng conflict eh. Oh, so, oh yes. And it's diba? sometimes better to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you get what I'm oh, saying? Oh eh. More, more on, so yun, ang, yun din ang personality ni BBM. So yun ang role na piniplay niya. And he doesn't have to get in the mud with everyone na umaatake sa kanya. That, that's why his, his cousin does the dirty work for him. Yun na nakikipag uh, nakikipag uh, sa, sa bayan and all that. Tapos yung of course yung for example, 'di ba si si Congressman Zaldico with the 51 billion kay Baste. So eh kay Baste kay Pulong. So may mga ganung may mga ganung uh, so yung yung people around him are doing the dirty work of uh, battling it out with the side of the Duterte. And he could stay above the fray, which is yung pareho nga doon sa personality niya na para polar opposite nung kay Digong na confrontational at uh, ang hilig sa away. Good point. Good point. Um I think that perfect is set sa tone for our next episode kasi pag-usapan natin dito is Duterte versus the rest of Mindanao, right? Because we are clearly seeing other Mindanao leaders from Zamboanga to Bangsamoro, all of them saying, "Ay, wala kaming alam diyan." And the fact that none of them attended yung rally, and then lang si Pantaleon Alvarez 
says a lot. Says a lot. Yung mga wala rin sa rally sa Davao also says a lot about his situation in Mindanao. Thank you very much. I think we ended exactly on where I want uh, wanted this episode to end. You know, just to be clear, guys, if I intervene sometimes, in sometimes I'm coming in, it's because I want to make sure the conversation is within a certain frame of mind. Otherwise, sabogin discussion goes all over the place. All right. I hope people appreciate why aggressively nag moderate ako. All right. And 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 I want to get the most out of my uh my interlocutors and my co-host in this case, like C, uh, our good friend C, Mark Gamboa. Thank you so much, my my great friend Mark Gamboa, for this fascinating episode. Just to be clear, did you say na nakaka-relate ka kay BBM na para sa kayo conflict avoid? Na, oh, na avoiding conflict. Na hindi, na, you can see it naman sa my vlogs eh. Di ba? In okay, fact, that's a good point. Kumbaga, si Digong si Banat Bay. Ako si Moron ako yung, di ba? Parang ganoon naman eh. Obvious naman dun sa mga ano. So, ganoon talaga, yun lang talaga yung personality. Well, and, and it kind of worked for you and it worked for BBM so far. You're both pretty hmm. successful in your own world. So, Uh, yeah, you know, there are many ways to get to Rome, right? So do you do, do you do, yeah, do yeah. you do, diba? do, do what makes you happy? Because who you to question do you? <laughs> All right, okay. On that note, thank <laughs> you very much. Man, let's go na. Ito na magsisimula na. Mainit init na yung usapan. Woo! Let's go. Pag-usapan oh. na Philippines minus. Bakit sinama pa yung Palawan? But anyway, pag-usapan natin yan sa next. <laughs> thank you very much, Mark Gamboa. Latest episode of Project. Pilipinas dahil mahal na mahal natin ang ating bayan especially yung bar buong Pilipinas uh, <laughs> okay yun yung entry natin sa next episode okay alright uh,